Hi everyone, welcome back to Artisan Valley. Here we are again. Leah's birthday. Um, there's some more mod updates, so we'll see what still works and what doesn't. I feel like there's going to be a lot running through recent, like as as time goes on. Folded fairy rose. I passed out. Cool. Hopefully, I didn't know how to fix the one that gave me like fifty thousand berries but hopefully that's fixed itself but we'll kind of see what happens we're out of coal i think we're gonna have to do a whole bunch of dust sprite binding and we found a chair and some worms which was also interesting just gonna throw those out Ooh. Ooh, 15 coal? Do we have to find it or just take it to him? We have to gather coal. That's fine, because we need to do that anyway, I was just saying. Okay, so the thingies still aren't working. But I, I honestly think that's just never going to happen because there's a dehydrator in the game now. So I just think those are never going to work. Which is fine. I wonder why I put melons in there. What should we give Leah? A wild horseradish? She only likes them. What about a purple mushroom? She only likes them. Okay, it's gonna be way quicker to do it this way. Loves. Goat cheese, perfect. Done. Yes, ma'am. I will give you a goat cheese. Let's put this in here for now. Oh, yeah, we were doing this to make coal. We were turning all this... Look at that. Oh, okay, that counts. I won't complain. Okay, what are we going to do? Robin wants 10 hardwood. Go talk to Clint. We need to give Pierre the produce and deliver an ectoplasm to go. So we're going to the mines anyway. I think we should take our loot ring um i need to make a a glowstone ring a magnet glow ring but what she's inside or did she just leave no she's inside leah let me in please so i can give you a birthday present ah nice a cutscene is she wearing her winter clothes in the cutscene that's pretty cool Oh, hi, Lion. Come in, come in. I think the kitchen's new. I don't think she usually has a kitchen. I'm just working on this sculpture here. Come here, watch this. You like my hat? See that? I'm revealing the essence of the wood. Once you get past the outer layers, the true nature starts to show. It's the same with people. I prefer to look the look of raw, unaltered wood. May I have a kiss? It's the same with people. What? Oh yeah, that's absolutely right. I first visited this valley as a little girl while on vacation with my parents. I knew I had to come back someday. This place has great artist artistic potential. Although I have to admit, it's not that easy to pay the bills as an artist. Why don't you have an art show in town? Why don't you sell your art on the internet? I always do art show in town. I've never done on the internet one. I don't know, like, what... Maybe I should choose it one time. But what if no one likes my sculptures? I'll be crushed. I'll have to think about it. Well, thanks for stopping by, Lion. Kel, how many times do I have to tell you I don't want to come back to the city? Stop calling me. I don't want to hear from you anymore. Click. The line. Yeah, I'm an eavesdropper. So I guess you heard me yelling on the phone. She looks a bit like Robin in her little picture. That was my ex. I guess I better tell you a little about it. 
We had an apartment together back in the city. I did odd jobs during the day and spent all night working on art products. Projects. We barely made enough to scrape by. She was always nagging me to get back to school and study business or medicine, something with a lot of money in it. I guess the idea was to save up for a normal life, you know, a house in the suburbs, kids, PTA meetings, that sort of thing. I just want to give her a birthday present. I wasn't ready for that kind of lifeline. I had to leave, so I came here to pursue my dream of being an artist. Is that selfish of me? No, it had to be done. No, and your ex sounds like an idiot. No, but you would have been better off staying in the city. Yeah, a little. Yeah, but it's natural to, f to care about yourself first. Um, Sigh. Maybe you're right. Humans are selfish creatures. I don't know. I probably shouldn't dwell on it. We, we all have to make hard choices from time to time. Anyway, I've been thinking a little more about the art show idea you had. I'm working on some new sculptures to display the show. I'm nervous, but the thought of getting my work out there is pretty exciting. I'm just glad you're on board with making Stardew Valley and the premier art destination line. I'm sure there's lots of people who want to do their arts, show people their arts and crafts. And just like that, you're almost girlfriend material. Four seasons. Here it is. All of Leah's cutscenes in one day. Highline, beautiful day, isn't it? I swear I just talked to you twice this morning. I brought you a gift. It's a sculpture I've been working on just for you. You received Olia sculpture. It's called How I Feel About Lion. I hope you like it. Where should we put this? Here. Nice. Well, that was fun. Alright, let's go to the mines. Which are finally. Ghosts are uh, floor 60. Think. We also need more iron, so I guess it's a win-win. Thought it dropped like 60 bowings for a second there. I was like, no, they we're not doing this. Where do the ghosts spawn? It is ghosts, right? Ectoplasm, yeah, ghost. Uh 65. Ah ha ha, please just drop me what I want and then we'll call it a day. Oh, you did not. Ooh. Oh, ghosty! Drop me an ectoplasm, please. Ooh. Yes, let's go! Learn new things about foraging. I don't think that means level up, right? Oh no, we did. We just oh, we already were level ten foraging. I should have sold the book to the book seller instead. Whoops. Plan. I found the copper you wanted. I like that he's calling the ore the copper ore. Um. You know what? We probably don't want these ones because they don't have the quality on them. Do you ever go home? Oh hello. Should we go give our ticket in to Mayor Lewis already? Why not right? Good evening. Just picking up some mixed seeds. Treasure enough to allow you my basement treat what you find there with respect. <laughs> One more day until the feast of the winter storm. Let's go animals, then we'll go to the little area to our 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 green green glass house thing, whatever you call it. Oh yeah. Our fifteen to get gold bok choice, twenty-five of them. And the rose is ready. See, but the coffee doesn't give me multiple of them. Neither do the potatoes. So it's just the new crops. Hey! Ground ancient fiber. I'm gonna just make them all connect because they can they can do what they need to do. I think that's in here, yeah. 
Because then every machine will have the ability to do what it needs. Like it can just take whatever and turn it into something. Then we don't have machines sitting around doing nothing. Like these ones. Okay. We need to wait for offer bars to be done. So let's go pick up our axe, drop these vegetables off to Pierre, and then... I don't know what to do. We do need to pick out a gift for Jody. Oh, let's see if we can buy the large chest. Pierre will let me budge. I should have known. It's a Wednesday. Um, I'm just going to buy the dehydrator, but I can't do that because I'm an egg. Oh, we we're going to do an artifact run. Okay, we can still do that. Guys, why didn't you remind me? We were going to do an artifact run. And drop stuff off to the museum. Hello, shop. Big chest recipe. Okay, let's go artifact run. Artifact run. We're going to do an artifact run. Because that should... Maybe we'll do a chest sorty sort thing today. What does it cost to make the big chest? Copper bars. We don't have any of those. No, let's not do the chest sort first. We can make kegs whenever. Let's go to the museum because you can't do that whenever. We don't actually have that much to go to him. One, two, three. I thought I had more, to be honest. I really thought I did have more. We're close, though. We're not far off everything. So for the new year, we should start looking at trying to make some recipes because we have all the stuff that we're hoarding because we can't do anything with it um we also just don't have the recipes and i'm not really sure how to get them hey we've slayed a thousand slimes one two three four five six uh that's so much better than the the other axe we had the iron one. Now we just need to actually go to Skull Caverns and start getting Iridium and then we can have Iridium tools. I wonder if we could sell them. They do? You could sell them. Wait, hang on. It's got a symbol on it so I have to sell it. I have to sell a book. I wonder if I have to sell one of all of the books to get the shipping achievement. Okay, so we didn't do any chest sorting today, but that's fine. Now we have the wood to build big chests, so we can do chest sorting tomorrow. Inside. A baby goat! That's a hard name to say. That's a weird name. Potsters. Pots. Pots. Potsters. Oh, I was a bit wrong with the 10,000. Shanna! 27,000. That's pretty good. I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to do because I asked in my last two videos if I should do three days or four, five days. I think I'm going to go in the middle and do four days. So we have today and tomorrow. All right, you ready for this? I've never seen a big chest before. This will be the first time for me and the first time for you guys on my channel. I'm a bit nervous. All right. Oof. How big is it going to be? Where am I going to put it? I think what we do is we take we take this chest out. And we put it in here. And then we put just all the goods into the one. So what if we do this? We put this here. Whoa. No, we're short by one space. Um, if we do this, then we can make them connect. What we could do is we can just use these as connectors, which is basically what I'm going to do. And that can go there, and that can connect them all. So then they'll go from here, the done ones will be in here, the not done ones will be in here, and then... Woo, look at that. And then... Oh, we are short a couple. We get rid of these chests so they don't just randomly end up with stuff in them. 
use this as a connector. Put it there. We're going to go to Pierce today and buy a dehydrator. That's for sure. That is definitely something we're going to do. And then we'll sort the rest of the stuff later. Imagine a crafting table surrounded by big chests. Wow. That'll be so nice. Okay, what we're going to do is... It was a diamond for Jody, So we're just going to dump our inventory into this big chest. What do we even need to take? Nothing really. Um, let's ch chuck these down as well. So now the good thing about this is we could literally just like fill in all the spaces. Because we don't need be able to walk through it. It does suck that I can't get into that space to fill that, but that's fine. Ham! Ham, it's the Feast of the Winter Star today! What are you doing? Linus! I join in, but I don't think I'm welcome. You're welcome with me, Linus. Wait, hello Lion. It's chilly, isn't it? Gus was telling me about his artisan candy canes. Fine art making candy canes. You really gotta search far and wide for the best ingredients. They aren't easy to come by these days. I'm thankful there's no medical emergencies this year. Lion, what are you hoping for under the spirit tree? A new watering can, a jug of spice meat, a pair of a jug of spice meat. Ooh, that sounds nice. Make sure to give me a taste. I hope there's a new camera under the spirit tree. A feast for some stupid star humbug. Oh my, aren't you cold, dear? It's freezing. Oh, hello. Yeah, let's just do it. Oh, show it to you. Ah, a diamond. Thanks. Who's me? Alex. Oh, I don't expect this to be very good. Me and Alex aren't much friends. All he said was, oh, hello, <laughs> when I talked to him, so... Hi, so I'm your secret gift giver this year. Well, open it. A Nautilus shell. Nice. I received a Nautilus shell. It's nothing fancy, but it's the best I could afford. I find them on the beach, but that's okay. Thanks for giving me a gift. It's better than bug meat, which I've gotten before. I'm thankful for my guitar and skateboard. Oh, and my family, I guess. Hi, Lion. Best part about today is the free food and the drink. Don't care much about the gift given. He loved the gift I gave him. I know he appreciated it. Welcome to the Feast of the Winter Star. Today is time to be thankful for this year's good fortune. Forget your worries for the next, for the day in life. Nothing like piping hot feast on a, a piping hot feast on a cold winter's day, huh? Ooh, I've had too much nog. I met some people who believe in spirits and magic by me. I've never really seen anything that could be explained by science. I've never really seen anything that couldn't be explained by science. Sigh, so, all these happy families, but for me, just another lonely year. Aww. I should be shared. Uh, dun, dun, dun. I don't want any of that. My sale figures have been phenomenal later, thanks to the Feast of the Winter Star. Boy, holidays are good for business. I wonder if I could invent some new ones. Do you want to hear the legend of the winter star? Sure. In the night sky of winter, there was a bright star only visible from this valley. No one knows why this is, but in times of old, times of old, people would come from far and wide to see it. They believed that anyone who laid eyes upon the winter star would be blessed with good fortune. Some even claim that the mysterious fruit known as star drop is connected to the winter star in some way. Okay. Hey, good afternoon. <laughs> I'm still upset I didn't win the ice fishing competition. What a beautiful tree. Merry winter star, dear. I wonder if I should give them the gift now. I gave Jojo gift cards to everyone lucky enough to receive them. Merry winter star, Miss Lion. Spending time with family is tiring sometimes. Hey, you Lion, you're welcome to join our table if you need company. I'll probably get another tool set this year, sigh. So. Ooh, presents. Can we open presents now? I've already opened mine. Or is that everybody? The wizard, of course. And Martin and Sophia. And Claire. And Sandy Dolphin Cross. I feel like Claire should be here. 
Oh, there she is. I'm not sure about Martin and Sophia. I don't think they'd come in from Zoo Zoo City just just for this. Well, who's a good boy you are? Did you get your present yet? I did. Do we think the wizard's hanging around anywhere? Probably not. I was like, maybe I could check my map. Yeah. Th oh, wait. Hang on a sec. That's not how that works. <laughs> Apparently they're all in their houses. I disagree. Map doesn't work on festival days. I'm just going to say it was it's not here. Because we could be running around for ages trying to find them. Well, that was the Feast of the Winter Star. You pack your plate full of turkey, mashed potatoes, greens, and some rolls. You eat all in one sitting and wash it down with some apple cider. Delicious Gus really outdid himself. Okay, it's the same. No matter what table I go to. Cool. That's, that's pretty cool. Not much different than usual. Yeah. I don't really need to hang around, I don't think. It should go to bed, and then we have one more day left where we're going to get dehydrator from Pierre, drop off his vegetables, um, and then we're gonna, I don't know, see where the times take us, it's Clint's birthday, we're definitely gonna give him a gift. I need to figure out where to get these like recipes from. Maybe we should start looking at trying to make them. The thing is there's so many of them and I don't like, I'm not good with remembering so I feel like I have to write them all down but that's a lot to write down. Lilac scones, hey? Interesting. Nice. Oh, I just remembered that bridge that leads to that big open field. We planted a bunch of trees in there and then we never went back. We should go see how that's doing. That's probably got heaps of trees that we could put tappers on. The dump chests are going to get so much worse because they're so much bigger. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> okay. Present for gut. Okay. Flint. To hunt. An emerald for Clint. I would recommend not taking the vegetable starred one during winter. It's not ideal. He's broken. He's not selling the recipe. I was watching it back and he did sell the recipe for um the dehydrator and now that I want it, it's not here anymore. And I'm confused. Because he used to have it. I brought a bunch of trees because those are trees we actually need for quests. Um, for the community centre and whatnot. And then we can still buy pigs. I think. I think pigs are like 2,000. So we should be able to afford at least one pig. Which is all we really need. But we would love more than one pig. Happy birthday. It'd be cool if you know how like you get to pick one of the bachelors. And you know how like Clint's like into, into Emily. So like if I didn't pick Emily it would be cool if Clint could end up with her. And then if I did want to be in Emily, I'll just be like, excuse me, you guys should get to divorce. Oh, this is my first time going into the sewers. Forgot that we could do that. I thought we'd been in here already. Oh, you're back. Marlon gave you a key. He did. It's nice to meet you. I'm happy to meet someone new. It gets lonely down here. I've collected many exotic goods through my travels. If you have gold you're welcome to purchase them come take a look let's see if he's got anything different dot 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 Ooh, iridium seeds plant in winter i want to try that 
Hello, adopt pet. Oh. Turtle. Adopt pets, butter churner. I don't think that's a pet. What are they? 16. Okay, so we can get two pigs. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm not allowed two pigs. <laughs> Mooches. 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 How much is it? If we get one of those and one of those. I think that's all our money. So that's fine. We'll just get one of every animal. Zoma. Lacho. Does the game just chuck together random names? Oh, doghouse, that's cute. Cat tree, that's cute. Birdhouse. That's so cool. I think these are all the trees we planted today. Eh? Oak trees. They're all in a line, if I remember correctly. Yeah, so we should put some tappers on these. Okay, so you can. I don't know if I want to, but you can. Like, is that going to grow with all the stuff around it? It says arrow an era item. I don't really know what to do with that. <laughs> Let's plant plant here. Plant plant here. Okay, so it can't plant it in here. You could probably plant it here, but I don't want to because that would be a waste of money. So we're going to go put them outside. In our little area that I know I'm going to end up hating and wanting to. We should make that. I mean, it doesn't have to be on the farm, right? You can grow fruit trees anywhere. Because if so, that big giant spot we were just in there, I planted a whole bunch of oak trees. Why don't we grow them there? One, two, boom, boom. I'm not quite sure why I put the pass here, but boom. One day left. Do we, okay, no, actually here's the thing, right? So we're at today 27, there's 28 days. Do we do the last two days, make this episode a little bit longer, but then, because at the start of year two, we were going to add like bridge view and stuff. So we almost want to start as a new episode. So I'm going to do these next two days. And then... Yeah, I reckon, because then we can add like Ridgeview and stuff at the start of this, at the start of spring, and we can start from the start, like the start of the new season will be the start of a new episode. This is you guys are getting lucky. You're getting six days. You're taking forever. Are you done? Where did you go? Where did the bonnet? Where... Ooh. Okay, sell one. It does say art isn't good, but we're going to keep the rest. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go and I'm going to get a trash can upgrade so that I can start selling the stuff that I can't sell. Tried to chat with Mayor Lewis today and he pretended he didn't even hear me. Won't be meddling, mending that bridge anytime soon, I suppose. That's pretty rude of Mayor Lewis. I feel like I haven't interacted with the new people very much. I don't feel like I've interacted with anybody very much, if I'm being honest. Ran out of snacks, must get more. Happy birthday. You remember my birthday? I'm beyond speechless. I was hoping you'd get something just like this. That's cute. Do you have any on you? Ah, uh, snacks? I have, um... Is this risk? Oh, settlers of Ferngill. Nice. Um, cheese. Does cheese count as snacks? Ooh. Oh, this is the quality crops thing. Guess I have just the thing for you. I'm all ears. It's a bundle of locally sourced organic heirloom vegetables. These are hand-picked and sorted to ensure only the very finest in quality and taste. This is a once-in-a-lifetime kind of offer. That sounds pretty good. I could use some quality vegetables for the sawing. How much does it cost? 
Only... Mm, what was that? Haha, <laughs> for a moment there, I thought I heard 25,000. Hehe, <laughs> that's right. That really is a bargain, isn't it? Expensive. Pierre, are you crazy? There's no way I could afford that. I'd have to sell the saloon. I overheard the price. That's outrageous. You should be ashamed. Wait, how about 10,000 then? It's a disaster, Lion. I thought this was a surefire business strategy, but it turns out no one is willing to pay vegetables at 10 times market price markup, even if I put a little organic sticker on them. I'm offended they didn't want my veggies. You should be less greedy. You win some, you lose some. You should be less greedy. He's not going to like me, but oh well. Hey, I'm not forcing anyone to buy it. If they don't like the price, they can move on. Yeah. But I guess you have a point. If I make all my customers angry, then pretty soon I won't have any customers at all. By the way, Lang, you look like you could use a veggie dinner tonight. What do you say? Want to buy back these back for the low price of 25000 or one gold? So expensive, Pierre. Like, can you sell the dehydrator for cheaper too? Can you actually sell it though? Does somebody else sell it? Is that my problem? I want a lemon sapling and a lime sapling and a granny smith. I'm just going to spend all my money on these trees. Oh, wait, it's a new season <laughs> soon. I should have saved the money for new crops. Oh, well. I'm building my orchard. Woohoo! We're, we're putting our orchard out here. Do we want to do it by season? Probably. What season were you? Spring. No, that's when it matures. Fall. What are you? Fall. Spring. 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 Fall. And fall. And this one was fall. Although they changed the rule now, so if I cut down the fruit trees, I get the seeds back so I can plant them again. So I can cut down the trees on my farm. And move them here. I need a sign to say what season you are. Okay, so you guys are fall. Cool. Where do we want to do spring? Because I kind of want them all close together, but I want them a little bit spread out as well. And do we want to put summer in the middle of fall and spring? Let's just go up here this far. And do we want them in a line? Probably. So where's you? Here. Okay, I just hope I don't lose this place when we um, install all the other mods to make this like a 2,200 mod series. Because I'm like at one like 50 or something. Oh no, I'm only at 88 mods. I used to be at 100, I swear. Need to get little farm helpers that buy me like coal and iron and copper and whatnot. Do those exist? Now the kombucha machine can do stuff too. Now we're all doing something. Even the espresso machine. Toasted coconut mocha. I don't even know how to make that. I still don't know how to make that. Interesting. Oh well. Ooh, that's kind of cool. I'm gonna show that. So, uh, how do you make a toasted coconut mocha? Like, how's it doing that? I'm guessing coffee, coconut. Like, how do I get. How do I know these things? Because the recipes, like, aren't. It's not like one of these. 
Coconut wine's pretty good. What gave us all the money, though? Moral kombucha. Morale, not moral. I definitely want to build a lot more kegs. I just don't actually... I haven't, like, got around to sitting down and actually doing it. I think we're short on the minerals needed, the, the ores needed for it. Oh, and we ran out of oak resin, actually. That's what, what the problem was. We need to get more oak tappers on oak trees. Decide what we're going to do with the rest of our time from there. We could give Morris a gift. Damn it, that was the wrong thing. No, okay, I'm going to restart the day. No, that's cheeky. Can I go back in, like, two seconds? I'm going to restart the day. <laughs> I'm trying to make friends with her, not make her hate me. <laughs> wow, what are we going to learn on the TV? Cranberry candy. I don't actually remember, honestly, what I did. I did the animals. I went to the traveling cart. Is that it? I feel like I've missed something that I did because I'm already back to where I was. Well, I already gave Claire the gift, so we don't actually have to go see her after we do this. Which makes life a bit easier, but how did I leave the farm so early? Is it because I knew what I was going to be doing? Because I did the animals already. I'm just... Oh, because I didn't go the traveling cart. That's what it is. Am I going to get different stuff out of the boxes now? Because I kind of liked some of the things I did get. So the mystery boxes must not be random. They must be in order. Whereas these ones are random. Can I have at least one fairy stone, please? Sorts the chest to two minutes later unsort them. It's fine. Let's check in here if we've got anything we want to grow in spring. There's nothing in here that I see that I'm like, yes, we absolutely need to do that. So I guess we're just going to go with the two strawberries. Oh. Spring. Somewhere in the middle of them. Summer. Somewhere down here. Winter. Our orchard is going to look amazing. It's saying. I think it's going to be awesome. Oh yeah, we need to get 15 coal as well. Maybe we'll get that here. Just mining these rocks. I do love that you can get coal rocks now. That's really cool. Like these ones. So, do you like gems? No. Oh, you like them. You don't love them. Well, I want to give you something. Because I'm going to make friends out of you. I'm going to make friends out of everyone. Yeah, maybe. Void spirits, skeletons, duggies, rock crabs. Awesome! Let's go get us a golden scythe. I guess we take off the glow ring. We need to make one of those rings that combines them. I said that like 10 minutes ago. But I still haven't done it. I think it only takes like a gold bar or something, right? Solar essence and iron bar. Yeah, we should make one of those. We have the stuff for it. Okay, I'm curious though. What's behind here? Why have you got a big rock blocking behind here? Okay, it was just coal rocks. That's fine. That's cool. There's two ways to get here now. Okay, let's go talk to Clint. I think I might change out of the witch's hat as well. I like it, but I think I'm done with it. Emerald for you. 
Ruby for you. Diamond for you. Cheese. Cheese for you. Goat cheese for you. Diamond for you. It's crazy how, like, if you don't even focus on friendship, but you just give them a gift every now and then, it does actually go up by quite a lot. Because I feel like I wasn't really, like... <laughs> I feel like I wasn't really, like, super duper, like, oh, I need to give everyone gifts, but, like, everyone seems to have gotten pretty, pretty high. There's a couple, obviously, that haven't, but, like, I wasn't super going ham crazy on it. Okay, that's us. Um, also because my stomach is fully rumbling, so I think it's time for lunch. And now, how am I going to edit two hours and 20 minutes of footage down into like 40 minutes? Woohoo! Spring year one! I'm going to skip this because we're going to watch it when I restart next time. You have to come back to see that. Well, thanks everyone for watching. I hope you have a good rest of your day, night, room, maybe a few, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!